Q13 News is learning new details about a deadly shooting inside a local church. Well, today for the first time, that church's pastor is talking to Q13's Jennifer Lee about how it all unfolded 24 hours ago. Let's bring in Jennifer now and talk about what you learned. Well, Matt, first we want to show you at Emerald City Bible Fellowship, these are the front doors, and if you check, these doors are actually always locked. Community Passageways has been using the church as their space for the past five years and was holding an orientation meeting yesterday, and the pastor tells us that's how the suspect accessed the building. So what we can tell you is the pastor, Harvey Drake, believes both the suspect and the victim are young adults in their early 20s. He says that the suspect went looking for the victim at this meeting, so this wasn't a random shooting from his understanding. And he says the shooting happened in front of about 15 youth who were attending this orientation meeting from Community Passageways. And he says he can't imagine the trauma those young adults are facing today following this violent act. We, have, as a church, we have been literally praying on the corner of Rainier Avenue South and Henderson every Sunday since last June 7th. And we're praying over the neighborhood, asking for hope, asking people to be at peace with each other, especially in light of all the racial tension. And then to see this happen here, it's just really kind of mind boggling. Yeah, so much to process after the deadly shooting. Community Passageways released a statement that says, quote, our team, participants, and community are actively working together to begin a journey of collective healing as we mourn for the family and loved ones that were impacted by this tragic event. As an organization, we are constantly reviewing our procedures and evaluating our protocols while engaging national experts to assure best practices continue to be in place. So again, at now church staff, they're reviewing safety protocols for Emerald City Bible Fellowship. Again, the doors are always locked and you need someone to open the door in order to access the building. They say weapons are not allowed, uh, but they are going to have a further look at how to make sure that everyone who comes inside the church feels safe. We're also in touch with Seattle police who tell us so far no arrests have been made. Reporting live in Seattle, Jennifer Lee, Q13 News.